Oh, right. So, uh, last time since we met Jameson Caudill, I, uh, you did a job for uh, Marfia, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Marfia. This is a pissing girl. Well. Yeah, you yeah, did a job. You left one of the rocks, but it's pretty damn clear that nobody else will be able to take it. At least not without some crazy <laughs> specialist equipment. Yeah. That will survive several thousand Celsius, um, mm. of like pure magma, and yeah, you pissed her off because as you returned, I remember that you pissed her off because yeah, her colleague got killed by two terrorists that you've met uh, way earlier in the day, yep. and you were pretty callous about it. <laughs> and she probably didn't like it. I mean, in her opinion. Mm -hmm. She thinks that you were completely, uh, yeah, like you you were acting like a dick and douchebag. <laughs> At least that's what she thinks. But yeah, you brought the other other rocks to her uh, workplace. You get paid, and uh, then I believe you just returned to your current living place. And of course, I also remember that you uh, managed to get into contact with uh, Zuro. And yeah, then I rem also remember that the Jeb called <laughs> and he was pretty freaked out. Mm -hmm. Okay, if my notes are correct, then we're starting at uh, January 15th. And on January 21st, there will be party job. Is there anything that you plan on doing uh, before that time? I was going to say not necessarily, but let me check something. Okay. So I forget how exactly I got that stuff about the continental and eclipse. Uh, content eclipse. This was the bar that you went with, uh, Kaylee, your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, because she su su bleh, suggested that place, and continental. It was one of the uh, invitational cards that uh, Spencer gave you alongside like data package. And it was connected to the thing like, uh, well, if you need something or if you are interested for a job, then this is like potential place to... The and I think it was also, if, if it wasn't, I'm gonna recommend that, that uh, there are like some basic information, including the fact that they have some like uh, cell or not a cell, but basically a place operating in this sector, but their head, their headquarters are in a different sector. Uh, I believe you might know that, that yeah, they are in uh, Avalon Lambda. Okay. Well, I was thinking about going and just checking that place out, not like taking any jobs or like hiring anyone, but just to get a general lay of the land of it. Just random stuff. <laughs> For now. Uh, okay. I mean, uh, in data package given by Spencer, you find uh, descriptions. Uh, where is that place? Because obviously, just like in John Wick, they have like public front. Uh, and the the one is that they are high rise uh, hotel meant for like very rich, very snobbish people like nobles, and uh, they get money from uh, that. And yeah, you f you find directions, and if you want to go there, then sure. All right, then let's go there. Okay. Uh, on the way. Oh wait. What? Oh, that's sector. That's the entire shebang. Okay. 
Yeah. Never mind. Uh, no, no, no. I, as I mentioned, like in this. Uh, wait. Well, I, I, was I it on this the planet? sector map because I still have the sector map. Yeah. I mean, wait, because I didn't specify if they have any, like, local cell uh, on this planet. Because what I meant, they definitely have headquarters in Avalon Lambda, like their main building and mm -hmm. where everything is. And I didn't specify on which planet on Tartarus Roll they have, like, a, they can be a, they can be a, not a branch, like a... What I, that, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not trademark? Uh, that they're basically a franchise of franchise. sorts. Yeah. yeah, that these hotels are known to be like for like high-rise shit. And... Hmm, I mean, it's uh, really up to you. If you want their cell to be on uh, Rudena sector and planet Zebra Mani. Well, I don't know if you want it to be like their headquarters. Definitely not. The headquarters I is assumed, Avalon. Well, I mean, like the headquarters of like the sector, not uh, like the headquarters of the whole shebang. Yeah, it can be. Huge. Perhaps but not planet side, but on. I do know, but like they like uh, the one guy like. Gave it to me and was like, this is like that place over there. So, like, on the planet. So, like, they might have, like, this might be, like, a spot they meet up, but it might not be, like, the headquarters of the sector. Uh, yeah, it can be something like that. That, yeah, it, it can be, like, a front, the place they use, but it's more of a temporary thing. Like, something along the lines of Dead Man Drop or. Something like that. Not really a safe house, but... Uh, uh, how should I say it? But, yeah, it can be something like that on, on this planet. Okay. I'll basically go check it out, maybe order a drink, but not really, like, interact. Just kind of watch people. Okay, uh, yeah, you arrived at uh, place. It's uh, yeah, it's definitely not a continental hotel. It doesn't have a name, like not. It is not continental, uh, like full hotel, but it's like a nice looking, very exquisite place. More like a cafeteria, and uh, yeah, along the way, nothing happened. Uh, maybe like one or two more messages from Jeb as he like woke up and Man, that's not a dream man! <laughs> like he, him uh, freaking out But as I said like through messages For now, yeah, no contact from like Spencer. He's like out there doing his thing And uh, also, for now, no, like, the ambassador guy is not really bothering you too much. Mm -hmm. It's still, like, a few days yeah. uh, before. Yeah, he wanted me there the day before, so I remember that part. Yep. Okay, um, so yeah, the place, and you can give me... You know what? If you want to scope that place, you can do two rolls. One is for security, to see if you can, like, spot some less obvious security measures, maybe they have some secret cameras and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And another one is probably perception, to see if you can spot somebody who might be a member of Continental Assassin Club and not just like a rich civilian who just stumbled upon this place and ordered some good shit. Wow. I think this is some pretty good rolls. Yeah! Compa compared to last time we played. <laughs> yeah, and something like that. Okay, so for security, uh, obviously... Uh, That's because I haven't rolled any dice. And <laughs> yeah. Bes besides for a random result, not like to roll against anything for a while, so it's all, all my luck's been saved up. Yep, that's... 
That's good to hear. Um, yeah, so I want to say, apart from obvious, you know, CCTV systems that the city operates, you also spot what you think is... This place, you realize, from security perspective, this place was not designed to, like, hold off waves of attackers. It's mostly designed in case somebody decides to drop on them, like, do a raid, then they <laughs> have strategically placed things that will delay the attackers, like smoke screen bombs, uh, maybe uh, sleeping gas, mostly surprisingly non-lethal things, uh, but yeah, designed to uh, cover tracks, <laughs> to make sure that if there's operative on site from Continental, he can use the distractions to escape. Makes sense. Probably they don't want to kill anyone because then it would draw too much hate towards them. Uh, the, the government probably hires them plenty, or at least people in the government. I Maybe mean, not. I mean, you can make a culture I'm, criminal. I'm, uh, okay. If I you just, want to, I mean, really your character as a, you, can, you as a player can make some con thing about stuff. What if you can make a role with criminal? Basically, Continental as a assassins club, basically, is not that common knowledge. But with Seven, you know that they are kind of like open secret, but they are very useful and tolerated. So basically. I don't know, you played Morrowind, yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, actually no, but... Uh, you remember yeah, yeah. Morak Tong? Mm -hmm. It was basically like an assassin guild, and when you killed somebody, you had like proper like order, and if guards stop you, you can just show him the paper that basically allowed you to get away scot-free for murder. Makes sense. So it's something so, like... So it's... Obviously... So it's... <laughs> And also there's the, like, like they have, like, their own coat of honor, so if you, like, kill a continental agent when he's, like, like off job and he doesn't have hit on you, it's bad and they will go after you, but if somebody puts a hit on you and the agent comes after you, you can kill him and they will be perfectly cool with that, because it only meant that, hey, you defended himself and you were better. Mm -hmm. Might even come off for you a job. Uh, yeah, uh, unless the guy who uh, recruited them in the first place uh, pays once again, like, yeah. doubles the fee and, like, well, sorry, but there's, like, one clan that really wants to do that, so he recruited another assassin of ours. Uh, nothing personal. <laughs> yeah, for them, Please. it's, like, strict business. Unless somebody starts, like, targeting them directly, then they get really pissed off. I, I can imagine, but yeah, like, I don't understand. And yeah, Except and for security, there's kind, also... Kind of, kind of like, it's not illegal for them to go do the assassination, but it's probably illegal to hire them or something like that. Uh, yeah, something on the lines. There are probably some loopholes that you probably should have yeah. asked, like a lawyer. Because they are not really an official open thing. Mm -hmm. And apart, and also from security, there's uh, not really an obvious, but you have to like look closely. But it makes sense that uh, the guy behind counter, uh, like uh, black dude, bald, pretty good looking, uh, and he has like an ID like worker ID on him that says uh, Haron or Sh ha Sharon, I don't know how do you spell that yeah Haron, Haron. Haron. Uh, that, that, I think that's usually like hard K sound since it's Greek oh okay yeah um, yeah and he he probably has both you think that in one of his one of, in one of his arms, he has like a small gun implant that can just pop out and surprise you. And of mm -hmm. course, behind the counter, he probably has some 
Larger weapon rate. Large caliber weapon. Perhaps some... Um, maybe even spike thrower, because these guys usually go with um, at least tech level 4. And spike thrower is either tech level 4 or 5. Why not just a good old fashioned son off? Yeah. Just as effective. He's he's modern guy. Yeah. Good old fashioned son off, right to the face. Actually, it's not that effective if the attacker is in full uh, power armor or uh, a refractor field or however is it called in this game. True. But if they're at my stage of thing, like. That that's also where the other stuff comes in because I'm sure if someone walks in wearing power armor, they're probably going to start up the security measures. Just oh yeah, that's like, the thing uh, regarding like planet and that's common knowledge. Uh, that's that's usual for majority of surface and number settings. Uh, having gun on you is not prohibited, so nobody will stop you if they see that you have like a <laughs> gun in holster, but. If somebody is like really heavily armed, and that includes like if somebody is walking in power armor on the streets, they will be stopped pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. Power armor with a heavy machine gun just walking down the street. It's like, oh, I'm just going to the coffee shop. Yeah, that's the line that will draw <laughs> attention, and like immediately people will like call for security, police, and they will like stop the guy and. Mm -hmm. uh, like arrest him so, and then try to figure out why the fuck he's walking around in the power armor. Anyways, like, like uh, that? <laughs> yeah, like, go ahead. So like, yeah, I, I doubt like someone maybe like the refractor shield that's tech level five itself, if I recall. Yes, it like, is. Like walking in in power armor, they're probably going to not even try to shoot him in the first place. Anyways, I I understand spike thrower. Continuing. Yeah, and for perception, you see that, which is surprising because ca cafeteria, it's like around 11 a.m., 12 p.m., so it's like midday. So it's like a lunch area, so there should be quite a lot of people. And yeah, there are some clients, civilian ones, obviously, but the place is not packed. And maybe it's because that... Uh, they offer really good stuff, but it's also pricey. I brought the business card. Uh, you, 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 I, I remember you said that it was like an actual like physical business card, so if anyone yeah, asks yeah. me... Yep, it was. Kind of so, like... So if anyone asks me, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, here we go, I have this, I was referred here. Yeah, yeah, although this card is like, it's... It specifically states, or it not, it doesn't say. They take it and they go through like scanner. They know you are referred, so you are cool. But they also know you are not part member of Continental. Yeah. You are like associated guy guest, not a member. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you get a discount. <laughs> well, I was more saying as a discount, but as like a, what the hell are you doing here kind of thing. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, so speaking of that, then. Yeah, nobody's looking at you like the current guy. He wasn't looking at you mm -hmm. with Fred, but he was obviously like from time to time, just like his eyes were looking. He he, he was really good at not eyeballing you, but it was also clear that he has you in your sights. But then you just mm -hmm. came, showed the card, and then he's like, uh, cool. Yeah. Like, he's just keeping an eye on me because as a newcomer, it makes sense. Nothing less than what I expected. Yeah. So yeah, then I will find probably a mid-price thing. So it's not expensive, but it, it'd still be decent food. It's probably just like a burger or something. Yeah. But really good burger, so for like, yeah, 25, or, or, or like 25 or like minutes. A, medium quality steak or something like that sort of thing. Yeah. And I am going to go get food myself. Okay. Yeah, it so won't take me long. Yeah. I can figure it out whom you, gonna, mm -hmm. whom you saw with that perception. Hmm. <laughs> 
and a class mercenary. We're gonna go with terror. Wow! Female, 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 female. The generator is saying me something. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah, that party thing will be hard to do. Some PCs. 